Hi everyone, I'm just going to make a short uh, instructional video on how to use Zotero. And what you see on the screen is the, the website that I want you to go to to download it. It's www.zotero.org. And then what you'll see on this is a download button. So just click on download, uh, let it add to your computer, and then you sign up for the account. Now this is a pretty nice uh, program and what I've done here is uh, just brought you to my own Zotero. Let me get this into the screen. And what it really is, is a database to save all of your articles, websites, newspapers, whatever it is that you are working on in terms of your research. And I will show you how to add material in just a bit, but what I wanna show you is this is my own uh, Zotero database. So I'm working on a book on Eusebius and Nicomedia, uh, a book on Japanese American internment, and then I'm also working on an article on um, uh, online teaching. And what, what you see here in this list is a list of all of the articles that I have just in terms of general articles. And I pulled all these off um, the various databases that we have access to in our library. And then I will show you this again, but off to the right, you see these little blue dots. That's telling you that these articles are actually in the database and can be pulled up when you click on them. If you've got something like this article, Quality Assurance in Higher Education, without the blue dot, it means it doesn't have it, but it's pretty easy to add um, the article. But let me just click on one just to show you that the article is actually here. So let me just click on that and it opens up this article. Let me just go to the top. You can see where it's from, the volume, and so on. This is the actual article that you end up, end up using from Zotero. So let me take you to JSTOR, um, a database that we use at our library. And let me just type in, um, and we'll see what comes up. Okay, now before I start clicking on these and show you how it's being used, let me just open up, um, well, let me just show you this. So I've got my library. I don't, the, the folder that is open, or the one that has the blue, is where your articles are going to go, and I don't want the, my test articles to just go into uh, a folder that I'm actually using. So I'm going to right click on my library, create new collection, and just call it Augustine. Okay, so now any articles I grab will be um, put into here. So let me go back to JSTOR. Oh, JSTOR. Okay, so I've got these articles that I can see. Now let's just say I want to add maybe this one, maybe this one, and that. What I do is go up to my folder here, and this is the Sotero folder. So what I'm going to do is click on that. And then what it says is, you can read it, select which items you would like to add to your library. So I'm gonna say add this one. And these are all reviews, which you don't really wanna use, but let's just select them. And I'll hit okay. And what it's doing here, you can see it's adding to my folder. Now, JSTOR um, is not hooked up to my Zotero, so it's not going to save these articles. In fact, you can see the red X here. Normally, if you're in like EBSCO, another uh, database, you can actually save the entire article. But let me go to Zotero and show you that now these are in my database. And if you click on this, just click on it and open it up, it will take you to um, at least the front page. Now this is not exactly where I want it to be, but I can, I will move it later. Uh, let me go back to my Zotero. And let me open this all the way up. So now you've got this, whoops. I didn't want to do that. Okay, what I've done is I've opened up my Zotero again because it wasn't showing my showing these little tabs. So what you see here is when you click on the article that I just looked at, you will get all the bibliographic information pulled down by Zotero. 
So it's an, a journal article. Here's the title. There's the author. Here's the journal it's in, the volume, the page number, and the date. So everything that you need. And if you click on this, it will be exactly the same. So it's a review of Augustine's, uh, a book on Augustine, and it will give you the dates here. Now, there's, as you notice, there's no blue dot here. So what that means is that the article is not attached. Um, let me go back to JSTOR. And let me go to that one um, article. Where is it? It's right here. Okay, let me download this article. Okay, so here it is. Now what I'm going to do is, whoops. No, I don't want that. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Let me open that article again. What I want to do is save it. So I'm going to save it in one of my folders. And let me open up my folders here, go up to classes. I'll save it where I actually don't need this article, but let me find it. So um, I'll just title this Augustine. Okay and now it's saved in my computer. So what you do, go back here, click on, oops, here on the article and add attachment and go to um, attach stored copy of file. And now what you need to do is go back to where you actually stored it, which is here. Okay, and now you see the little circle here. What that means is it's now attached. So next time you're in your library looking around and you want to read this article, you just click on that. And there it is. So pretty, uh, pretty easy. Now, say if you want to create a bibliography, and this is the, the other great thing about um, Zotero is that you now have two articles here, and say you want to create a Chicago-style bibliography. So what I've done is just clicked on it and then hit my shift to click on the other one. I'm going to right-click here, and you can say, you can see Create Bibliography from Items. So what I want to do is Chicago Manual of Style, and I'm going to save this as an um, RTF file. So let me just do that. Let me take it back to where I was here, right there. So I'll just call it that and title it. Okay, so now I've, I've now saved the bibliography. Now let me go to my files here. Sorry, I need to move this over so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going up to that file. Click on that, and there you see it created a Chicago-style bibliography for me, and I didn't have to do a thing. Um, this is one of the real bonuses of using something like Zotero. Um, again, what you can do is create a new library just by right-clicking a new collection. You've got all your articles in here. You can click on them if you've got the blue. If you don't have the blue, find the original article, save it to your computer, and then link it to your document by right-clicking and add attachment.